So these stuffed animals are sexually transmitted diseases. And except for this is like what we call tainted love, which you might have if you had unprotected intercourse. And then over here we have what the things you have to worry about if you're going to go on a blind date or a date for the first time. So these are how the diseases look under a microscope. And the reason I'm doing it like this is because when I tell my patients that they have an STD, they completely go nuts, which is understandable because they're worried about their body and their health and what they're going to have to tell their partners. But all the information just goes right over their head. And I thought this might be a more approachable way for people and a way where it makes it less scary and frightening, even though, you know, we respect these diseases because they can cause big problems. But I think this way you'll absorb more of the information when you think about seeing what's under the microscope when I look at something, okay? So the first of the sexually transmitted diseases is one of the most common, and that's chlamydia. And so if you looked at it under a microscope, this is kind of, other than it wouldn't have eyes and a mouth, um, this is what you would see. You would see a, 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 a sort of shape like this, and it would have a color to it. And that's why a lot of times we'll ask you what discharge, color discharge you have, if it's gray or it's green or it's yellow, and that sometimes indicates like what bacteria. Now, chlamydia is one of the most common sexually transmitted diseases. Again, it's, it's something you want to be careful about because it can cause problems with uh, fertility and, and cause infections in the tubes and the ovaries, but it can be cured by an antibiotic. Now, this is actually a stuffed animal of penicillin, which is going to be for more helpful for the syphilis that we're going to talk about. But again, this can be cured. This can be wiped clean. This is another reason why you actually want to get tested for STDs, because if we find it, even though it's horrible to know that you have it, we can get rid of it. Okay. So now one of the other ones that this penicillin can cure is syphilis. Now, a long time ago, we didn't know the cure for syphilis and people used to die from this. You go crazy from this. Um, and it, they thought that it actually started here in the new world and then spread over to Europe. And so a lot of, um, Italian people would say it was brought here by the you know, Spanish people and French people, by, uh, you know, Italian people and went back and forth and back and forth. Um, but it's in the form of a spirochete. And again, this can be cured if caught. So again, why you want to be tested for STDs. And and then penicillin, because it's 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 a, a bacteria, it gets rid of the spirochete. Gone, gone, gone. All right. Next one is herpes. My patients just because this is a virus. This is not actually a bacteria. So herpes type two, and that's the one that spreads to the genitalia. We have herpes type one over there in the blind date um, section. It is actually going to look like this if you looked at it under a microscope. And it's what's responsible for sores. And actually herpes in Greek means creep. So this is the creepy disease. And it was called creep because um, the person who noticed that the sores used to creep along the skin. So just think of herpes as creep. It's a virus. It can't be um, cured, but we can give you medication to decrease the time that you have it and decrease the transmission of it. So again, another reason why if we find it, it's good and you don't want to pass it on um, and don't worry about the creepy lesions because usually they happen the most time in the first few years and then the outbreak happen less frequently. Okay. Now this is human papillomavirus. This is huge to talk about or HPV because this is something if you get a vaccine, you may never actually catch. So see this little bugger? You, it, that's why the vaccine is really important. Now, the big thing about HPV is that it can cause genital warts and it can also cause cervical cancer. It has a lot of different strains. So get your pap smear and get screened for this. And again, this is something that can be sexually transmitted. You do have to tell your partner if you have it. Um, this is again very, very common these days. And, and again, my patients get so upset when we tell them about them. But remember, that's why we have the vaccine. The vaccine does not make you have sex. It's just going to protect you against a sexually transmitted disease that can cause all kinds of other problems. Now, lastly, gonorrhea. A lot of people don't know about this. They know a lot about chlamydia, but they don't know about gonorrhea. This used to be called the clap. And again, this can also be a big problem. And it is one of the most common, just like with chlamydia, a big problem um, with fertility in a woman's tubes and it can cause pelvic pain. So again, this is something you want to catch really early. A lot of times it doesn't have any symptoms. As you can see, it can just gives maybe a little gray discharge. And so it's really important to treat this for your future fertility. And again, this would be something that can be treated with antibiotics, 
But the thing is, is this is becoming very antibiotic resistant. So we need to treat you with some higher strains of things instead of just the things we used to treat you with. And often these two go hand in hand. If you have chlamydia, we look for gonorrhea because you probably caught them at the same time. That's the end of my tainted love discussion.